love some more coffee. Coffee is freaking awesome. <laughs> Gotta love these dark mornings, dark starts. That was literally not many hours sleep. But sometimes you have to uh, commit and show up. Let's get going. Um, yeah, sometimes you gotta show up. And uh, showing up. It's more than just showing up. I'm tired as hell, didn't get much sleep. Um, that's all good. But now I've got to do the most important part and I'm gonna tell you what that is in a minute. Time to go get my swim on. Uh, then it's time for me to talk about showing up. So, I just swam with a uh, friend of mine, and uh, I wanted to talk today about showing up because so many athletes show up to training, right? Um, but I don't believe they fully leverage the training that they do. Um, and, and this is because they show up and go through the motions, right? And going through the motions will only get you so far. So I was on a, um, a webinar a couple of days ago with a guy called Todd Herman and um, this guy as I said in a previous video of mine works with athletes um, you know that get paid multi millions of dollars a year in big businesses and etc etc developing strategies and, and mental um, you know mental strengthening strategies and things to focus on and whatever and he was talking about um, in the business space uh, because this is what this webinar was on about something called uh, context shifting. Context shifting, and what context shifting is is the amount of time we lose when we multitask, right? And you might be thinking, Christian, what the hell does this have to do with showing up in training? I believe it has absolutely everything to do with showing up in training, and here's why. So with, um, I'm gonna show you um, a little graph um, that Todd presented about context shifting and how much time loss, percentage of time loss you lose, the more tasks that you place upon yourself. And if we're really honest with ourselves, we'll know this to be true, and I definitely know it to be true. Um, because we lose brain power when we switch from things to things to things and it takes us time to get back into that um, that task that we're really focused on and one of the tasks the main task that we need to focus on in training is being present because if we're being present we leverage our opportunities and we get that much better out of the training session and that much better out of the race. If you're not present in the race and you're off with the pixies, man, A, your perceived exertion is going to go through the roof and you're going to be going slower. And uh, the reality is you don't want to go slower. So this, this is the way that I think this context shifting hurts us in our training, right? We live a life which we're trying to shove so much into. Right, but you have committed daily to putting some time aside to do your training. Right, that's awesome, and you're going to show up most of the time to do that training. But here's where I question how much people show up. Yeah, they show up, 
jump in the water, they start swimming, and their mind starts wandering on other things. So they go for a run, and the mind starts wandering. Or they're on their bike, and they listen to a podcast. Uh, and yes, even our Fat Black podcast. As awesome as it is, right, try and listen to it in a commute or some other times. And I know you're trying to fill things in in your day, but if you're doing some power intervals or you're doing a specific tolerance session on the bike, you actually need to be present and focused and listening to us and doing that and your mind start to think of other cool things that we've talked about or whatever is not helping you leverage the session that you're in in that moment. And um, I believe that's ultimately hurting your long-term performances. So, you know, if we lose, like I think Todd said, if you had five things you were doing, like five tasks open or projects or whatever, um, you can only allocate something like 5% um, of that. And you lose 75% of time um, available. So I think in an eight-hour day, you end up working like 25 minutes of productive work. So I started thinking, well, how much if we aren't focused on the task at hand in our training session, how much do we limit ourselves to the performance that we can actually get? And I believe it's a lot. And I know that the more you focus, and science has proven this, that we have this brain to muscle connection, this neural pathway that strengthens when we focus more on the task at hand. So let's take for example, I was tired as hell going to swimming this morning because Max got this injury and he was up all night. Worse for Charlotte, because Charlotte was in his room. I was still in my room, but you know, each time he woke up crying, I woke up, all right? And that's part and parcel of being a parent, all right? But I committed to go to the swim pool this morning, and so no matter how tired I was, I went. And I still had a fun, fantastic swim but I made it a game, right? So instead of instead of uh, instead of focusing on a ton of different things and my mind wandering, I played a game, and I went, okay, how much, how many strokes can I focus on before I lose task presence? Right? Okay, I did it for ten strokes. Awesome. Let's see if I can improve that. What am I focusing on the swim? Okay, I'm really focusing on my catch here. I uh, had the paddles on today, and I was really focusing on my catch and my pull. All right, and I had a great swim from it. Tired as I was, I really enjoyed it, and I really felt my swim stroke the whole way through it. Now, was that challenging? Yes, it was challenging mentally because you had to focus so intently. All right, I think people, I question why people get into the sport and then try and, you know go off with the pixies so they don't have to focus on the uncomfortableness of it or maybe the pain um, and they buy into that too much and they want to kind of disassociate with that uncomfortableness and go elsewhere so they don't have to deal with it. That's hurting your performance. Um, embrace that uncomfortableness. Dive into it and get the feeling of that. But I believe if you focus in on the moment, swim, run, bike, whatever, in the minute that you're in, right? Or even the second that you're in. Because if I use swimming, for example, it's so easy, right? Every single stroke we get feedback, so we can focus on that. But as soon as we think about what the hell I'm going to have for breakfast, or I can't wait for that second coffee of the morning, or, damn, um, I've got this work to do. Um, or for me this morning, so my task lost focus was talking about this video. Okay, what am I going to say here or there, right? Shit, Christian, no. Let's get back to focusing on swimming. The video can work itself out once you're shooting the video. So um, that's my tip this morning. Stop context switching, right? In work, in your day-to-day, and definitely in training. If you want to get the highest leverage points from training and really catapult your performances, be there in training. So show up and then show up when you're showing up. Time to get out. Thank <laughs> you.
This Red Bull? How's my little injured boy? Better. You're better? A little bit. A little bit? How's tired, Mummy? I was still in bed. It was my choice. Okay.